Hello out there in horror booktube land. As you can tell by my stunningly accurate recreation of the cover, uh, this video I'm talking about Horror Store by Grady Hendrix. Uh, virtually identical. Um, but yeah, just as that's fun, um, this book was a lot of fun. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Uh, it's put the, I talked uh, about the, what was it, the works of Spencer Black, the Resurrectionist. Um, this is put out by the same company. Uh, they like to do these kind of quirky books, like uh, Peregrine's, Miss Peregrine's School for Odd Children or whatever. Uh, man, I'm really nailing these book titles. I'm glad you come to me for this expert reviewing. Um, but yeah, no, this book, uh, large parts of it are set up as like an employee handbook or a catalog for a uh, company that's very similar to Ikea in a lot of ways. Um, this this company, this fictional company, is clearly based on Ikea, uh, but an Americanized version of Ikea. And uh, as you can imagine, that makes for a surprisingly good uh, setting for a horror novel. Uh, a neat thing that gets mentioned in here is the concept of a panopticon. Uh, I don't want to go too deep into that, but it's mentioned like kind of in passing in the history of the place early on in the book. Uh, I've always been fascinated by panopticons. Uh, they're terrifying. Uh, they're, I would say, evil. Um, but uh, they're just fascinating. Uh, and actually, there's a really good metal band that I really like called Panopticon. So go check them out. Uh, yeah, no, uh, it follows uh, follows a couple uh, of uh, it follows five employees of this store as they are staying overnight to figure out who's been vandalizing the store uh, because corporate is coming tomorrow, and so they gotta get in here and figure out what's going on. Um, there are some legitimately very creepy moments in this book. Um, it's pretty rare for me to get really freaked out by a book, and this one didn't really like. <gasps> But there were some, there were some moments was like, ooh, don't like that. So, um, Grady Hendrix did an incredible job on this. Uh, I'd kind of like to see some sort of follow-up to this. And not exactly, and the way the book ends, you can tell it, it couldn't, uh, perhaps go exactly the same way. But, I don't know, just, there, there's, there's more, there's more meat on this bone, I feel like, that could be, could be dived into. Um, and it, I don't want to say too much. I don't want to spoil things for you. But yeah, no, I highly recommend this book. Uh, very much a thumbs up. If you like horror, I can't really think of anyone that... If you just like your horror to have no humor at all, then this is maybe not for you. Because there are there's a fair bit of humor to it. Because this corporate America is just sadly hilarious. Um, so uh, a lot of the humor stems from that, just the ridiculousness of that. But the characters feel very real. Um, the horror is compelling. It's got a great story. Uh, definitely recommend. Hope, uh, I hope y'all will go check it out. Uh, I'll, I'll put a link down below on, uh, where you can buy it off Amazon. Because I have an affiliate link. <laughs>